科技临界点，向世界介绍中国科技。In 2023, the oceans experienced the hottest temperature ever recorded. Hi, I'm Lisa, and welcome to Threshold. Today, we are going to talk about the ocean's temperature. On the 11th of January 2024, a report from an international team of 34 scientists revealed that the global average sea surface temperature in 2023 rose by about 0.23 degrees Celsius compared to 2022.、And、this may seem like a small change, but it has a great impact on our world. Not only did the sea surface temperatures reach a record high, but the upper 2,000 meter of the ocean also absorbed an additional 15 plus or minus 10 zeta joules of heat in 2023 compared to 2022. This surpasses all previously observed values for ocean heat content from zero to 2,000 meters since 1960. To put the 15 zeta joules into perspective, it's enough energy to evaporate 2.3 billion Olympic-sized swimming pools filled with water, or it could bring Lake Baikal, the world's largest freshwater lake, to a boil. Another way to understand this is that it is equivalent to around 1.85 million 2,000 kilowatt wind turbines running at full capacity for a hundred years. These unprecedented ocean temperatures serve as a stark reminder that climate change is happening at an alarming rate. It has a tangible effect on our oceans. One immediate impact is that the intensification of ocean stratification, which refers to the layering of water based on temperature and density. Normally, the ocean have a structure where the surface is lighter and the deep waters are heavier. As the surface warms, it becomes lighter, creating a barrier that prevents the mixing of nutrient-rich deep waters with the surface. This disruption affects the balance and health of marine ecosystem and has already led to a decline in Black Sea fisheries. But the consequences goes far beyond marine life. The ocean, as Earth's largest thermal reservoir, plays a crucial role in regulating global weather patterns. Changes in ocean temperatures directly impact atmospheric and ocean circulation patterns, leading to more frequent extreme weather events that have severe impacts on our lives. We've already seen examples such as Storm Daniel with extensive flooding in Libya, and Super Typhoon Doxuri causing a once in 200 years rainstorm in Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei region in China. The record ocean temperatures are affecting exclusive economic zones in the ocean. For example, coastal and island tourism along the Mediterranean economic zone faced challenges from the hottest Mediterranean summer on record in 2023, including heat waves and wildfires. Industries in these regions are facing huge challenges. Fishing communities are also impacted, with the fishing migration pattern severely impacted due to the warming waters. Tuna stocks, for example, are now harder to find, and this jeopardizes the livelihood of generations of those who have relied on sea for centuries. And so, it's not just about tourism; it is also about our food security. Additionally, hurricanes, heat waves, and other extreme weather events can damage energy infrastructure like power grids and offshore wind farms, disrupting energy production. Extreme weather events and rising sea levels can also damage transportation and logistic networks, which in turn affects the global supply chains. And so, the negative impacts of ocean warming are widespread. On the 17th of November 2023, the global average temperature exceeded 2.07 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, surpassing the critical 2 degrees Celsius threshold set by the Paris Agreement for the first time. The World Meteorological Organization has issued warnings, emphasizing the urgent need for rapid emissions reductions to meet the 2 degrees Celsius target. Without immediate action, we are heading towards the irreversible consequences of climate change. It is easy to feel disconnected from numbers and reports, but the reality is that climate change is happening right now. And that is all for today's threshold. As usual, we welcome your feedback and thoughts. 